This is Lewis Arthur Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted today to be joined with Brandon Olrex. April the 28th, we're back out, York Hall on a Boxing Social Fight Night Live. How are we feeling, mate? How's camp been? How's everything been sort of going? Camp's been going very, very well. Um, ticking all the boxes. Uh, can't wait to be back out now. Uh, yeah, feeling strong and fit as ever, so ready. <laughs> Absolutely, you know. We were just sort of speaking a bit off camera there. Um, obviously now you're with Let's Go Management and you're obviously fighting on the Boxing Social Fight Night Live. What's that transition been like for you moving over to a different management? Has it sort of been a, a good process, a positive one for you? Yeah, it's all, it's all positive. Um, just waiting on, on details now, um, on opponents and that. So I'm just ready. I'm ready for, for a step up and yeah. Let's get, let's get going. <laughs> How would you say like your preparation goes when you know? Is it ever difficult when you when you you know you're not too sure about your opponent and is it ever a worry? Would you say like if you you might not potentially have an opponent you know this close to the fight? It's it's not a worry. Um, we prepare the same. Every camp's the same. Um, so I just got to get myself ready, and I've done that. So I'm ready now. You know, for people that don't know, how would you sort of describe yourself? Would you say because obviously. You turned over pro during lockdown when you were telling me you know, had to fight weight, you know, you had to fight a, a weight above, and then now you're sort of fighting at more natural weight, you're sort of stopping guys who, you know, shouldn't really have been getting stopped. Um, what would you say, you know, how would you sort of describe yourself to people who don't know and, you know, viewers who would be tuning in? I'd like to, well, I'd say, I'd say I'm a powerhouse. Um, yeah, I'd say a bit of a powerhouse, a bit more exciting than the average fighter. Um, and yeah, just tune in on the 28th and you'll see. <laughs> on, obviously on that fight, you know, it's a, um, it'll be on Fight TV. Um, and I was saying to you, you know, what we want is we want, you know, I want small hall, small hall shows to be as much coverage as they can. And for people like you to get as much coverage as you can, to fight on, fight on, on you know, on Fight TV, having a big streaming service where you're going to get eyes on you, you know, people can sort of pay to, you know, see you fight. That must be a good feeling. And getting them eyes must be, you know, a good thing for your promotion as well. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, uh, I was just saying to you earlier that I wanted to um, step up every time. I like, always push forward. Um, and this is this is in the right direction. So um, on the 28th, I will get to showcase my um, what we've been doing in the gym, and um, yeah, all lies on me. How how important is this is this activity and showcasing you know yourself you know fighting as much as you can, being as active as you can, you know, sort of just turning over pro and being early in your pro career must be important to try and fight as much as you can. Yeah, of course, yeah, you want to be active uh, as a fighter, but um, getting these knockouts, uh, they haven't really worked in my favour. You know, um, knocking the t two hardest uh, journeymen out there, um, it's, it's proven difficult to get me get me my opponents, but um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep training and uh, keep doing what we're doing, you know, and uh, I'll get my shot, I know my time's coming, so. Is there a lot that you can learn from, you know, I know you haven't been in there, you know, you've been stopping them, but these guys, you know, who haven't really been stopped, who are there to sort of, you know, almost there to cover up and defend themselves, do you find it a little bit more difficult where, you know, early on in your career, you're going to fight guys who, you know, they'd be more unwilling to sort of throw, if that makes sense, where the openings might not come. But obviously, you've been finding them openings, but do you feel like it's a little bit more difficult when you have to be a bit more patient to find your shots? Of course, yeah, you have to, um, that's what we were learning in the gym. Um, Prepping the work, always got to prep your work, create them openings, you know. Uh, the German, it's, it's, some of them, they do tuck up and you do have to sort of just ease your way into it. But, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to let someone give it a little bit more and then I can take them out a bit quicker. But <laughs> how, how far would you say it is before, you know, you, you want to fight for titles, potentially, you know, we've got Martin, who's like Southern Area champion, yeah. um, can be, you know, if he wins this, he could be fighting for English, you know, having guys like that who, you know, have titles, does it urge you on that you want to be, you know, holding an English, British, Southern Area soon? Yeah, of course it does, of course it does, yeah, yeah, it does, uh, it motivates me loads, um, but obviously we've got to take each fight as it comes, I'm still an apprentice at the moment, I'm still learning the ropes, um, but yeah, so it's, it's all coming together now, so I don't see why not. I'm looking um, probably next year now to go for a title, so I've just got to sort of work the rounds in, so. 
Is it, is it good to have someone like Martin as well? You know, being at the same way, I'm sure you have some some good sessions together. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant having someone that's uh, well skilled and and he's yeah very very powerful southpaw. So uh, yeah, I get to get to learn a lot from him. Like. Absolutely. You know, one thing I've got to ask you. You know, what we got there is uh, on your jacket. You have got a nice fake taxi sponsor. I'm sure everyone sort of be asking you about that. What, how did that sort of come about? You know, what's that? Um, so what's Mar that about? Owns, Mar 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 Uncle actually owns the company. Um, and it was actually in lockdown, I was training a lot, and uh, he, he approached me, he was like, why, why don't you do it properly? And, I, and then he was like, I'll, I'll sponsor you. I was like, no way. And uh, yeah, and then we just, he stuck by me for two and a half years now, and yes, yeah, it's, it's all good, man. <laughs> Is it good to sort of like, you know, when you're sort of coming up just turn over pro the sponsorships are so important so obviously oh, yeah. having one like that is, is a massive massive sponsor a, a massive benefit to you as well yeah definitely definitely it has definitely got some eyes on me <laughs> for sure <laughs> for sure but i'm ready um it's it's allowed me to obviously focus on this sport like 100 percent. you know you can't you can't dabble in this you've got to put your all into it otherwise you get hurt so well, sort of just as we close this interview off, what can uh, what can everyone expect on April the 28th? How we uh, how, what, how is it going to end? <laughs> Another powerhouse performance. You watch. <laughs> Brandon, honestly, thank you for your time, mate, and all the best. I'll be seeing you on April 28th. So thank you for your time, mate. Appreciate it.